Alright, so imagine this. You created a formula that tells you exactly how much to bet to get rich over time. You help people beat blackjack, crush the stock market, and avoid going broke. And then you die before anyone even knows your name. Yeah, that's actually what happened. Meet John L. Kelly Jr., the physics genius who gave the world one of the most powerful financial tools ever and still ended up being the smartest broke guy you have never heard of. In the next few minutes, you're going to find out how Kelly connected gambling, data size, and money growth in one simple formula. And how that formula went from a Bell's Labs research paper to blackjack tables and billion dollar hedge funds. And how it could save your account from exploding the next time you trade something insane like zero DT options. Now let's go. John Kelly Jr. was from Texas, had a PhD in physics, and worked at Bell Labs, aka the Avengers HQ for size nerds. His colleague Claude Shannon, the guy who basically invented the internet before the internet existed. Now these two guys were surrounded by the kind of geniuses who built machines during lunch just for fun. And Kelly, quiet guy, doesn't talk much, and just solve equations like in Sudoku. He was probably the type of student who topped the class in math and still got scolded for not getting full marks. While working at Bell's Labs, Kelly had a weird talk. He read Shannon's paper on how to send information across noisy phone lines and went, now if this works for data, what if money works the same way? So the translation is this, casino equals noisy system, bets equals data packets, and your wallet that's the signal. So he writes this paper with a totally boring title, A New Interpretation of Information Rate. Honestly, it sounds like something you'll fall asleep to. But inside is a formula that literally says, here is how much of your money to bet if you want to get rich and not go broke. It is called the Kelly Criterion. Think of it like, not too greedy, not too scared, just a sweet spot where your money grows like compound interest on steroids. Now, Kelly didn't go to the casinos himself, but Claude Shannon did, and he brought back out Ed Top, a math professor who could count cuts in his sleep. So Shannon, Top, and a guy with gangster connections fund a trip to a real casino, like Marina Bay Sands but with more cowboy hats. They bought $10,000 and left with $21,000 and made the casino regret not having security cameras in the 60s. All thanks to Kelly's formula, telling them exactly when to bet more and when to back off. Smart money is bigger and more powerful than lucky money. Still not impressed? These guys went home and said, oh, blackjack is fun, but what if we build a computer to beat Rolet? So they did. They created the world's first wearable computer. Not a smartwatch, not a phone, a literal device hidden in a shoe that could calculate where the roller ball could land. This was in 1961, by the way, when most people were still using landlines and paper maps. They tested it secretly in Vegas and it worked. And then they shut it down before someone from the casinos figured out they were basically Iron Man in leather shoes. Now, here's where it gets wild. Edward Top takes the Kelly formula, leaves the blackjack tables, and started a hedge fund. Results? never had a losing year. Now, Claude Shannon used the formula for his personal investments and allegedly beat Warren Buffett's returns while also juggling, inventing code, and lightly solving three puzzles before breakfast. And then you have hedge fund legends like Jim Simons, who took Kelly's math and used it to build corn funds so powerful they make regular fund managers look like they're trading Monopoly money. Meanwhile, John Kelly, still in Bell Labs, still solving problems, still broke. Now, here's the twist. Kelly, the guy who figured out how to win over the long term, never actually used the formula for himself. He never went to the casino, never traded, never managed a portfolio. But he did smoke up up to six packs of cigarettes a day. And at the age of 41, he died from a stroke on a sidewalk in New York. He left behind a wife, children, and a formula that made other people millions but he never saw any of it. So you might be wondering, cool story, but what has this got to do with me and trading stuff like zero DT? Simple, the Kelly criterion tells you how much to risk on each trade based on your edge. Not your mood, not what someone posts on Telegram, math. It is the difference between calculated growth and gambling with your entire account hoping for a miracle. Want to know how to apply it to your own trading? 
especially zero DT, that's in the next video. Like, save, share, and please don't be that person who goes all in on a trade because it feels right. John Kelly never got rich, but his formula became the secret weapon behind casinos, traders, and some of the most successful investors in the world. He didn't play the game himself, but he gave everyone else the playbook. Sometimes, the quietest people leave the loudest legacy.